Hello, my name is Arun Gupta and I work for Sun Microsystems. In this screencast, I will show you how to easily get started with Glassfish V3 Technology Preview 2 or in short, TP2. Glassfish V3 is the next major version of Glassfish V2 which is an industry grade open source Java EE5 compatible application server. The main features of Glassfish V3 are modular, extensible and embeddable. It's modular because it's built on the OSGI framework which allows modules such as JRuby or other functionality to be configured at the runtime. It's extensible because it allows support for dynamic languages and other features. It's embeddable because it can be run in any container. Let's get started. What you see now is NetBeans IDE 6.1. It allows you to install a Glassfish V3 TP2 plugin and get started from there. Let's see how we can do that. Click on the Tools menu, select Plugins, go to Available Plugins, search on V3, and here you see there are two modules that are available. Let's select both of them, and then click on Install. You can see the module no version numbers. Click on Next, accept the license agreement, and click on Install. Once the modules are installed, which is very quick, it asks you to restart the IDE. So let's click on the Finish button, and we will see the IDE restarting. Now, the NetBeans IDE has restarted. Let's verify that we have the right version of Glassfish plugin. Go to Tools, Plugins, click on Installed, search again on V3, and here it shows the correct version 0.2.0 .0 for both the modules. Let's close it now. Go to the Services tab, Expand Servers, right click say Add Server and we choose Glassfish V3 TP2 plugin click on Next it provides a default location where Glassfish V3 TP2 can be installed you can always change it but for now let's take the default location click on the License Agreement and then we click on Download V3 Now this is going to start the download process and install it locally on your machine in the directory mentioned above. Okay, now the download is completed and it has also installed it. The download time can vary depending upon your network speed. In this case it took only 54 seconds to download and install the entire application server. Click on finish and here we see a node automatically added for Glassfish v3 TP2. Now that Glassfish has been installed, let's create a simple web application and deploy it in this container. Go to Projects, right click, New Project, choose Web Category and the project type as Web Application. Click on Next, give the project a name, let's say V3 Rocks. Click on Next. Notice here, the recently installed Glassfish v3 TP2 container is being chosen as a server. And then, we take everything else as a defaults, so click on Finish. At this point of time, NetBeans IDE generates a template project for us, and it also generates a template index.jsp in there. Let's hit the key F6. This will create a war file, deploy it on the v3 container, and also show the main page in the browser window and the page looks like this you can see localhost colon 8080 v3 rocks and it shows us the default page with hello world in there if we go back to NetBeans IDE I can also show you how we can create a servlet and deploy it here as well switching to IDE we right click here again and this time we say we want to create a new servlet go down Click on Servlet, call this servlet as Hello Servlet, 
give it a package name and we take everything else as a default click on finish this generates a default servlet for us if we scroll down we can see there is a process request method which is actually being invoked from both do get and do post let's uncomment the code that is being generated by default and once again we can hit F6 which will build the war file again redeploy it on the container and then show up the result in the output window but hey this time again we are seeing the page v3 rocks the URL that would have been generated for us is hello servlet and it indeed says that servlet hello servlet at slash v3 rocks I just showed you how you can easily download Glassfish v3 and get started with it in less than one minute also I showed you how you can easily create a web application that has a JSP file and a servlet in a matter of few seconds now finally let me leave you with some pointers Glassfish can be downloaded from glassfish.java.net Glassfish v3 related information can be found at glassfish.java.net slash v3 NetBeans 6.1 IDE downloaded from netbeans.org some of the important blogs are blogs.sun.com slash the aquarium where you latest and the greatest news about glassfish adoption stories about glassfish in deployment environment can be found at sun.com slash stories addressing your deployment and business needs are catered by blogs.sun.com slash glassfish for business and finally on my blog you will see lots of other interesting tidbits around glassfish thank you